Well, welcome to Greenway. It's the beloved holiday home of the crime writer Agatha Christie. Um, it sits on the banks of the River Dart and it was seen by Agatha as the loveliest place in the world. And I think it lives up to that reputation wholeheartedly. <laughs> huge interest. Um, I think we're very um, privileged to actually sort of spark that interest in our visitors. Um, not only do we have the Agatha Christie fans, but we have a lot of local, international and national visitors that come just to, to sample a taste of Agatha Christie and what better place than, than her home. The lovely story associated with the drawing room is that Agatha and the family would adjourn there after dinner where she would read them the latest plot of her latest novel. And the story goes that in the chair, Max Mallow and her husband, the archaeologist, would fall asleep and wake up at the very end of the story to name who done it, much to her frustration, I should imagine. To be removed, but she said no thank you very much because it was part of its history. However, there used to be standing Roosevelt Church along your chimney breast and she asked for that to be painted out. Oh, yeah, really cool. We've had any trouble with you. Here you can see that sheet looks kind of contains salt due to ingress of water. She was probably the only genius that I have known well during my life. I just think she had a facility for understanding uh, what made writing enjoyable and she was able to produce it. She never had any, I never had any um, difficulty about composing plots. As she got older, it got more difficult actually to write them down. But she just had this genius for writing things that were easy to adapt, whether for television or into foreign languages. Whether it was poisons or other ways of um, killing people or uh, all sorts of things, the law and all things like that, she was very careful before she used them in her books to make sure that what use she made of them was properly researched and accurate.
We're standing on the balcony of the boathouse at Greenway, which was the setting for the murder in Dead Man's Folly, the first murder. So it has huge significance in the story. Um, it's a great tale of murder and intrigue and mystery um, and very traditional Agatha Christie. But because it's setting on the dart, um, it's very sort of relevant and memorable to us here at Greenway. Her stories that were, after all, she died nearly 40 years ago, uh, they have kept up. And although that they're all set in a different era, uh, the ones before the, first, before the Second World War in a very different era. But the funny thing is they haven't dated. The characters seem much the same. We still have vicars, a few. We, you know, we still have uh, the people she wrote about and they haven't changed very much. Thank <laughs> you. 